Boom, boom, this is Ken, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Azure laying on tap today. Uh, so we got a few things to cover, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, first of all, the event is going to be ending today, so we should see an update tomorrow. Um, uh, tomorrow evening, actually, that will uh, throw in the new event. So you need to get in there and knock out if you're unable to complete any of the current events. Um, so, you know, make sure you're still doing uh, Ying Sui's travels. Um, spring festival training uh, you, you, know, you want to try to get this I, I did get you 410 lit up area you get the ticket and choose one of these uh, Manju factory that just came up so this is going to still be continuing this can continue until next week um, but the the new uh, update will come out tomorrow evening so expect uh, all these events to go away so uh, the build will go away as well so this will disappear so I, I did manage to get uh, uh, Cheho this morning uh, when I did my pools so I do have all the ships so I've been but I've been getting some some questions from uh, some of some of the subscribers about whether or not it, it would behoove anybody to make up try to make up a dragon empery fleet uh, the answer to that question is no um, this is all the dragon empery ships that are out right now there really is not any type of flagship uh, that you could put in here I mean these are destroyers Okay, uh, the new the two new ships, Yang Sui, they're they're cruisers like cruisers. Okay, so there's really not anything you know. There's uh, really nothing uh, in just in terms of destroyers. You can't really have uh, on the front line. You can't have destroyers <laughs> putting three destroyers on your front line uh, is a sure way to get uh, quickly you know uh, eliminated. You're not going to get very far into the story mode at all. Uh, so no, it's not feasible to run uh, a Dragon Empire fleet at this time. Hopefully, they will give us a little bit more ships, um, and maybe a flagship and a couple powerhouses uh, to round off the backfield. Um, you know, maybe a carrier or two, uh, something along that lines. I don't don't really don't really see that happening, at least not in the near future. Uh, but no, this just you know, there none of the ships uh, that just came out, uh, Ying Sui, they're they're not really. Um, you know they're not really uh, good for anything. I mean they, they do have uh, they do have the one t uh, skill which is um, they they heal uh, so it heals the ship for five percent if you sort it with other other dragon emperor ships um, and, and a speed increase. But it's nothing that's going to make you know make them uh, super tanky or anything. Uh, so the, the, none of the ships are really you know, really worth anything in terms other than from a collector standpoint. Uh, definitely don't want to, uh, you know, don't want to spend a lot trying to get them up to 120 uh, at this point in time. You know, maybe they'll, uh, in the future, they'll give us uh, a couple of uh, what, we got, what we like to call paper ships uh, that we can add into this fleet that uh, would make it viable. But for right now, it's not. So just stick with what you got going. Uh, these ships for this uh, particular event were just um, uh, collector's items. Um, I did get Penelope as well as, um, let me get down to the bottom here. So, like I said, I got Cheo this morning. Uh, and I got Ying Sui. I think it was the, the yesterday, day before yesterday. Uh, I got U410 as well and Penelope as well. So, snatched up Bridge Move. That was just from the build, but she was not part of the event. Um, so, but I, so, I did get all the ships that were requested. Uh, I used my uh, the ticket to get a, a copy, a limit break for Cheo. So, that's where all everything went. So it was a pretty interesting event. Uh, nothing difficult about it. Uh, I had plenty of time to complete the event. Uh, you still got another day left uh, today and then tomorrow as well. So there's plenty of time to get the event complete. Um, so it, you know, it was just a nice little placeholder. Uh, and so we can start getting back on tap here uh, with some of the new stuff. And uh, of course, don't forget about Operation Siren is always in there. Uh, and uh, you definitely want to uh, keep an eye on that. Get in there and run your three uh, a day ashes showdown if you're not playing Operation Siren on a daily basis. Um, but to do that, so you can get uh, uh, the hear you uh, reward from that as well. Um, you can get that into the ashes showdown if you just go into uh, Operation Siren. Go back to your main screen and you should see ashes showdown here at the bottom. This will allow you to run three on a daily basis just hit the boss list and you can run three bosses uh, you can also call your own boss um, but you have to be playing the game and getting the actual blueprints for it 
but if you want to get to hear you meta, um, you need to you know do this as many times as you can throughout the day, uh, so that you can actually. Uh, it ends on 18th of March, so it's going to be ending next uh, next month. So you you know you want to try to get it while the event is up, uh, and uh, because like I said, it'll end on the 18th, and you might. Might have to wait a little bit before it actually comes around again so that you can actually get it. So we don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, so I just want to let everybody know that the bin is ending uh, tomorrow evening and there will be an update with the new stuff. Uh, so make sure you get in there and uh, finish up those events. Uh, do the builds, you know, while they've got a rate up. Like I say, I, I, I did a total of how many pools did I do on this event. Uh, you can tell it within the mission tab. I did 70 pools. Okay, it took me 70 pools to get all of the ships. Um, uh, you know, I just got Cheo this morning when I did my five pools this morning. So uh, that's where you're going to have to be in terms of, uh, you know, you might have to pull that many times to get the ships. There's a lot of ships inside of the light. Uh, this this was a raid up, but it wasn't an event raid up. So there were uh, every light ship was in there. Uh, along with uh, the other ships, you just had a slight better chance of getting those uh, those three ships, Penelope, uh, Yang Sui, and Cheho. So uh, it, you need to really pull on it. But yeah, I did get them. So for collectors, uh, you know, for the collector in me, I'm extremely pleased with that. But I'm not going to use them for anything. I'll take them up to 30, um, you know, with uh, with some of the, uh, the, 18, the 1800 oil um uh, commission you know I'll put them in here and take them up right now right uh, I've got the Ying Sui's in there uh, Penelope's in there so um, yeah I'll put you in here I'll bring them up and take them up to 30 uh, so I'm going to do I've also got mains in here in Richmond here what I do whenever I get a ship initially is I immediately take it to 30 uh, and that's where I leave it uh, unless I'm going to be using it and if I'm going to be using it I will continue to you know stick it in the dorm uh, run it in some uh, you know put it into you know, fleets and try to earn some uh, experience with this commission uh, and then once I get it to a point where it's feasible that it might be able to survive I might stick it in a fleet and start running it uh, like I did with you know uh, Prince Heinrich uh, and uh, Rune Yu uh, even though they're not maxed out right yet they're they're almost maxed out uh, they're over 100 uh, so that they're able to survive uh, fairly well inside of mostly everything uh, but that's also because of the fact that they pop out shields <laughs> So if you take a look at the formation, as you can see, I'm popping out 14,000 uh, on both the Vanguard and the uh, main in the backfield. And these two aren't finished yet. Okay. They're going to get more buffs when they, when they finally max out with 120. They get their, their they get the buff uh, that comes with, you know, uh, finishing the enhancement. Uh, and so this is going to go, this is going to go up even more. So yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be a pretty powerful, and this is going to change, I'll, I'll be sticking mains in place of probably Rune Yu, I still have to make a determination on that, uh, I do like, uh, I do like the fact that Prince Henry comes with a little bit more offense as well as a high hit point pool, making her a veritable tank, so we'll have to see, but yeah, so the event ends tomorrow, so get in there today, knock it out, um, and uh, try to knock it out tomorrow, get those 200 wins so you can get you 410. Uh, and uh, do some builds as much as you can uh, to try to get the actual ships so that you'll have them for your collection. And if they ever do in the future come out with a Dragon Emperor, a couple of Dragon Emperor ships that make a fleet uh, an attempt, you know, like a flagship, uh, maybe a carrier or two or something like that, you know, something we can really use. Uh, uh, I don't think they'll be able to in the near future come out with anything that would make it a viable, a viable um, fleet at this point. Uh, definitely not something that's going to get you very far in the story mode. So these are not ships to, uh, even if you're a new player, they're not ships you really want to focus on. Um, there's just no meta for destroyers. Uh, and the light cruisers are underwhelming to say the least. Uh, there's nothing that really, you know, that, that they sort of meld into a Dragon Emperor fleet with that skill that they've got. Uh, both Yang Sui and Cheo have that skill where they, uh, you get a slight uh, increase in their health if they're, if they're paired with other Dragon Emperor ships. But there's really just nothing to control the fleet with. Um, I mean, you you know, you could put the two in there if you wanted to, but there's just a bunch of ships. Every pretty much all the other ships are better. So there's really not. It's really not something to waste the materials uh, on uh, to get them, you know, leveled up 
Um, uh, I would, I'm just going to get them to 30. You know, put them off to the side, and if something in the future comes out uh, where they make something, you know, uh, from the ROC ships that are interesting, uh, then we'll give it a try. But for right now, no. Uh, so anybody asking, no. Uh, waste of time. Focus on an Iron Blood fleet. Uh, Sakura Empire fleet. Uh, Iron Eagle, you know. Iron, you know, USS fleet, you, you, could, you could usually get away pretty good. They got, in terms of the best fleet, I mean, you know, everybody has a different opinion. Uh, I find, you know, I find the Sakura Empire, um, the uh, Iron Blood and Eagle Union's fleet to be, the, 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 you know, they're the three best. Out of those right now, um, I really don't, my most powerful fleet actually does not involve a single, a single um, uh, setup. My, the big, my most powerful fleet right now, straight up is using the Iron Blood front line, because this is the strongest front line I have easily. Uh, and then, but then uh, sticking like Shinano in the backfield uh, to assist with that. Um, and you know, moving things around in this backfield usually acclimates into into my strongest fleet. Um, once I get FDG up to speed, uh, then there will be no doubt whatsoever. And mains up to speed, there won't be any doubt that my strongest fleet um, will definitely be primarily Iron Blood. I mean, you know, stick an FDG in here in place of Turpets, uh, and putting a Shinano here in place of in place of Zeppelin, uh, that would, you know, that right there would be a perfect fleet. But of course, that's going to have Shinano. Shinano is not uh, an Iron Blood. So uh, the, the best fleets um, that I can make really doesn't synergy well with uh, one singular fleet. Um, I like to run fleets just because I like to do it. That's why I've got this Iron Blood fleet set up because uh, I was running main. So I wanted to have a fleet that was specifically focused on Iron Blood so that all of the experience points that I was getting go going toward mains. Uh, I'm now focusing on uh, my Sakura Empire. As I've currently got a Zumo up uh, as my ship. So right now I'm working on, uh, I'm going to be switching back to my uh, Sakura Empire fleet, which has got Nagato, Teho Yu, um, and uh, Shinano in the backfield. And then we've got um, uh, you, you could cause uh, and we've got a, a Tego, and we've got the Shiro in the front line, but that is easily, you know, it, it's as you can see, this is a pretty good, powerful fleet. If you look at the backfield on this, it's at fourteen to ten, uh, and Tejo U's not quite leveled out, uh, and this front, you know, so this is a pretty good backfield. Uh, the, the meta backfield used to be Nagato with uh, uh, the Kaga and Akagi in the backfield on, you know, doing the wings used to be the meta um, because that was a serious, you know, could do, they could do some serious damage when you pair them with each other. But since I still don't have Akagi, <laughs> that's not a feasible option for me. Uh, but with the come out of Shinano, uh, uh, you know, Akagi is no longer something that you actually need. So that's why I don't use it. But I'm going to be switching back to this. Uh, specifically for priority ships. Uh, I will still be using the Iron Blood fleet uh, a little bit, and I've also got, I'm going to put them in the dorm so that they can continue gaining experience to get to 120. Because um, uh, I want to, you know, finish to have them maxed out. It's going to be a while before mains is online, and it's going to be a while before FDG is online. So until those two ships are online, I'm going to have to make do. But even without those two ships in there, I could make a 14,000 a front line, a 14,000 back line. Uh, out of what I've got, so that's that. That makes things, everything okay in that terms. I still have uh, a good fleet, and they've been running through. Uh, haven't had any trouble running through the a bit. Uh, running through Operation Siren. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to focus much on it. I've done like the first fifteen or twenty, fifteen, I think the first five or six missions. Uh, you know, I have cleared a couple of the the levels and stuff. So it's you know, I didn't find anything difficult about it. You just got to make sure that you choose your fleet wisely. Uh, and make sure that when you go up against bosses, you know, you don't want to go up against a boss uh, with three shelling ships when it's, you know, immune to shelling damage. It's just not advisable. So you need to make sure that you choose wisely uh, and pay a little bit more attention 
really within the story mode you don't have to pay that much attention to what you're putting in there you get a powerful fleet stick it in there it's probably going to be okay up to a certain point and operation side you need to be a little bit more alert as to who you're bringing in to do what and make sure that you choose the right fleet for the um uh, for the right battle so that you don't uh, you know come up against something where you get wiped so just yeah, got to keep an eye on that that's all but other than that you should be able to get in there and start playing it it's not it's not too terribly difficult uh, you don't get to the really difficult stuff until you've completed operation of Saturn and you come to the abyss which is the in-game dungeon uh, and that's where you're going to get some of the good mats and stuff but yeah that's pretty um, that's pretty intense so uh, yeah you just need to keep your eye on that but yeah so just give you a heads up uh, Ben ends tomorrow night so get in there and knock it out uh, for the rest of the day and tomorrow uh, make sure you get everything that you want to get uh, because it will be going away all right so uh, again thanks a lot for watching remember to subscribe to the channel once you've subscribed click on the, click on the uh, the bell button and you'll get notified each time I drop a video go ahead and like the video share the video it helps the channel out immensely when you do that uh, the more views the better uh, and uh, this is Kendra. I'm coming at you from the corner, signing out.